I bought a few things from Walmart, well, only two things, but I wanted to try them out today. I bought the Kiss Lash Glue along with eyeliner. I wanted to try this out the other day, but you can only use it on like clean skin and I had makeup on, so I was like, so today's the day, I'm gonna try this out. And I also bought some lashes that I wanna try out. They're the LA Colors 3D Fox Mink Lashes. I got the style Emerson, it's the yellow one. There's a blue one, a red one, I think pink, yellow, and I, I know there's four, four different ones that I saw. I picked the most natural looking uh, lash. So I'm, I went with this one, they had more dramatic lashes, but I went with this one, see how it goes. And if I like it, then I can, you know, try them out. They were like $3, something like that. So it's supposed to be a matte finish, foolproof, easy touch up. Uh, this goes directly on the skin. Again, you don't want to use it. It says, uh, how to apply. It says, apply to clean, dry, free of moisture and makeup. So I have nothing on my lids. I have nothing on my face. I'm going to try this out. I'm going to have to do this off camera because I suck. Um, and it's a new product. So I'll be back. I did one eye off camera. It was pretty easy. I even like how like the wing came out. I'm gonna open these up and add them to my lash. I'm gonna do this quickly because it's supposed to be glue along with like the eyeliner, so. <laughs> Try these out. The lashes come with like a little, um, some people don't know, so I'm just pointing it out. They have like this little extra part of the strip. I'm just gonna cut that off. Uh, don't want that on my eye because it will like irritate it and I'll start crying, so. Don't want that with this eyeliner. I put one lash on. I quickly like added it on I didn't trim anything on the side just because I wanted to see like how it fit I like how it looks I didn't put no mascara because I was like trying to figure it out um I'm gonna go ahead and add mascara well I'm gonna add the other <laughs> other eye on first and then I'll come back to add um to tight line a little bit I really like how this looks so I'm gonna move on to the rest of my face for moisturizer, I'm going in with the Belief True Cream. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this uh, on my face. I really like how the lashes look. That was probably the easiest, easiest lashes I've ever gone on um, and lash glue. I really hope I'm not allergic to it. I did pick it up because I was allergic to something else. So I'm gonna try this out. I'm just gonna rub this in. I'm putting a little bit of the Fast Response Cream by MAC. Just putting a tiny bit to um, prep my under eye for a concealer. For a primer today, I'm going in with the Touch and Soul Primer. I have loved this guy in the past. I have put it down to try out other primers, but I'm back to this. I really enjoy it. I got it for about $10 at um, TJ Maxx. The cheapest I've seen it go for is four dollars. I was, this product goes for like what eighteen something like that. Uh, really enjoy how it, how it sits on the skin under foundation. For foundation, I'm gonna be going in with the Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Natural Beige. I'm gonna use this foundation along with the Tom Ford Glow Drops in uh, Reflex Guilt Zero Three, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna see if I mix in a little bit of the ABH Liquid Glow Drops in Perla. I'll show you this right. And I did mix in all three. See how that goes. I added a little bit of the cream bronzer from Tarte. Everything that I am using today, I will put it in the description box. The Flawless Fusion Concealer by Laura Mercier. I'm gonna add a little bit here. And then I'm gonna also lighten it up a little bit with well, I like this color by itself. I'm going to be also using the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I got this at TJ Maxx and I, w I was shocked when I saw it there. I was like, are you serious? I picked it up. Been using it uh, on and off for a while now. I'm just going to put a little bit right here, a little bit right there, just for discoloration. I'm just gonna blend out my concealer. This one still needs to be blended out. I did wanna mention that when I'm using the um, Beauty Blender, I am carefully tapping, just tapping, okay? 
be carefully tapping. Um, so in your eye, you have about less than zero, if I'm right, I can't, I'm like trying to recall. I think it's 0 0.04, like the amount of skin that you have, like the layer of skin that you have on your eyelid. And then I think you have 0 0.2. So it's a big difference, like in your feet. Um, like your feet are thicker, like the skin on your feet are thicker and on your eyelid, it's super, super thin. So I'm really careful when adding, um, adding concealer and then blending it out. I do mix colors because I like the way it looks on me. Um, I, one is like to conceal, the other one is to like brighten and highlight. When I blend this out right here, I'm being super careful because I do not want to tamper with the um, eyeliner. The eyeliner is set, it's put down, it's matte. Like, let me give you guys an update. It's matte. I set with Laura Mercier powder, my under eye, and now my smile lines. Uh, this will crease up on me if I'm not careful, so. I'm gonna be trying something new out. I haven't used this in forever. I bought it at TJ Maxx when it was like $12.99. It's the Becca Pink Haze Soft Light Blurring Powder. It comes like this. I barely have used it, but I wanna use a little bit today because, let me put a little bit. See, it comes like this. I don't like powders like this. Oh gosh, it's like everywhere. I'm just gonna type. A little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit into the cap because it's like everywhere. I'll use a pink base today. So. The pink powder is nice for right now. I'm going in with debutante from Morphe. I'm just picking up a little bit on a brush, just a tiny bit, and then I'm just gonna add it to like my forehead, blend out the rest of my face. I'm gonna spritz my face in a few to see how I feel about that pink powder. It looks nice. It looks nice on the skin. We'll see. For blush, I'm going in with Fox Love from Becca. It's been a while, so just revisiting things, trying to see how I feel about everything. I'm gonna comb out my brows before I go in with this pencil from ABH. It's in the shade Dark Brown. I usually like Dark Brown or Ebony. I'm just placing the concealer down under my brows to cover the hair that I have growing. I'm using the NW um, Studio Fix Concealer from MAC. I've been using this for a hot minute. I'm just placing a little bit under my brows. I lightly blend, especially when I go out into the front. I lightly blend, and then when I go on the edges, I lightly blend. I don't want any harsh lines. I don't want to indicate that I have, I mean, I have makeup on, but I don't want to look like I have makeup on filming. Going in with the Million Dollar Brow Gel, I'm just gonna place a little bit on my brows just to set them. Too Faced, it lasts forever. Like I only use a little bit for my nose. I'm using a Sonia Kasha brush, really enjoy it for the bristles. Now I'm just gonna place a little bit here. I already put gel in my brows, so I don't wanna like disturb it a little, like too much. I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm tapping into this color and this color from the Hourglass palette, of this highlight palette. I'm just gonna get just a little bit on it here. Hmm. Probably this color here. I'll just do, I'll just mix because I'm a little, little tan. It's a very soft highlight, which I really like. Nothing too much. I like more natural looks, Um, but there is one look that I'm like, I'm gonna do that next. I just need to wash all my brushes. Like all my brushes are dirty, except like one or two. Like this, I don't think this one is dirty. But everything else is like completely dirty, dirty right now and I have to like, I have to do like a deep clean and I'm just like, uh, you, I don't know, like, I, this is a long time. Like I have so many brushes and I'm like, I'd rather just buy a new brush than like having to clean it. This is the Cream Sheen from MAC. It's in the shade Sunny Soul. I didn't put a lip liner. I just put it straight onto my lips. I have been enjoying the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancer a lot. So I'm gonna add a little bit 
onto my lips. Uh, the first time I tried this product out, I, I fell in love. I was like, I have to try out more of their products. Uh, yeah, since it's summertime, I'm doing something. Okay, who wears long sleeves in the summer? I do, I do. So I do not care. Um, but I like how I look, as long as I'm modest, like that's all I worry about. Like if Jesus came out of nowhere, would I be okay with my outfit? That's how I see it. If Jesus Christ came out of nowhere, am I okay with my outfit? And as of right now, I am. So, I'm good. All right, I think that's it. I think, I think, I think. What do you think? I'm gonna try this Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. I got this for $5 at TJ Maxx. Marshall's one of the two. I'm gonna avoid my eyes since I went ahead and used um, that glue from, the eyelash glue from Kiss. I'm gonna be really careful with that. Let's see how that goes. I like how that set. It was the spritzer is really nice on it. I wanted to show you guys really quickly what my makeup looks like during the day. I have worn my mask probably like once already, like full blown. When I do wear makeup though, I wear these. Like I'll wear like two, and this is all you see. So I'm about to go inside um, the dollar store. I have to check if they have something that I'm looking for uh don't sleep on the dollar store like i can actually do a video if you guys like probably probably not today though um you just backing up like that why y'all backing up like that <laughs> sorry um but yeah that's how i wanted to show you i this is how i wear my mask this is the one that i got from home depot i really like how well it fits and i feel like i can still talk through it so it's really nice oh uh, you guys can still hear me um, but I wanted to show you guys really quickly my eyelashes. Like, these eyelashes are so 